lights and blaring sirens these days some drivers don't even notice. Now more Oahu ambulances will be using another tool to help clear the road. HNN Investigates reporter Allison Blair has our top story. It's called the Howler. You should be able to hear it, but just in case you don't, it's designed so you can feel it too. When Honolulu EMS hits the road, every second counts. At 11 a.m. Friday morning, this Kaneohe base crew was dispatched to Nu'uanu to help a 94 year old woman who couldn't breathe. But before this EMT can jump into action, he's got to get there. Not easy when drivers won't get out of the way. That's always frustrating. These days, a standard siren often isn't enough. The way cars are built, they muffle those sounds. That's why more EMS rigs are being equipped with the howler. The change in the frequency, it just grabs their attention. Not only does it sound different, it vibrates the road. It emits the sirens at a lower frequency. You can kind of liken it to those loud stereo systems. When the bass hits, it has the same effect. What does it feel like when they hit that siren? So it can be pretty jarring for somebody who's directly in front of the ambulance. And it feels like a percussion type instrument is right next to you because it can vibrate your car. How many of Honolulu's ambulances are equipped with the Howler? Currently on the road today, we have 10. He says the goal is to outfit the entire fleet with a lower frequency siren within the next three years. Having a siren everyone can hear is critical as crews navigate Hawaii's congested roadways. Friday morning, construction on the Pali Highway forced this EMT to find another route. I went into oncoming traffic. Uh, I thought that would be the best way to uh, maneuver that situation. With the sirens and the lights, we're asking for permission to pass because we have a job to do. So when you see this, move over to the right side of the road and stop. In Honolulu, Allison Blair, Hawaii News Now.